Serious, strippers of Reddit. What do you really think of the people that see you perform? Was male stripper for a bit. My opinion. It's all types for all reasons. Passing judgment on folks generally just makes you less approachable. There are good folks who like gyrating naked people but are awkward socially and have lots of money. Creepy is still creepy. Considerate is still considerate. Only difference is I'm not wearing pants. X stripper. The guys that came in and knew the deal were great. Tip the girl on stage. Get a lap dance. Be polite. The worst were the guys that thought they were smarter than the strippers or that they could somehow game us. Like. One guy I remember went on a whole rant about how smart he was because he could tell it was all fake and the girls weren't really attracted to the men. A bad dude. You're a genius. Or when they think they are funny by degrading the women. It's not funny and you're the one that looks bad. Honestly. For the most part I didn't think about the guys much at all. I was on autopilot most of the time and didn't judge them any more than thinking who looks interested in a private dance or who was a doucher bag I wanted to avoid. You get your share of creeps but mostly where I worked, a long time ago, a lot of young groups of guys just looking for a good time. Every once in a while you have someone who has too good of a time and gets rowdy and acts like an idiot. Granted I only work 2-3 nights a week. People who dance full time, especially during the day, have a whole different kind of crowd to deal with. But customers are generally all the same. Just looking for something to distract them from life for a while. Feels like a lifetime ago that I danced. My husband and I go together now every once in a while to get a private dance for a while and it's way more fun being on the other side. X stripper here. Of course I encountered all different types. But I am here to mention one type in particular, my favorite. There were a lot of customers who were lonely. Or didn't have anyone to talk to who would really listen to them. They figured out that they could come in and pay for company. I would sit at the table with one of my regulars for a few hours and just talk. I made a point of showing that I valued them as a person and was genuinely interested in their conversation. He knew that he was taking up my time. And every so often would hand me another bill. I didn't pity them. I respected them for figuring out a way to engage with other humans and satisfy their need for connection. Edit again because I am dense sometimes and meant the first edit to go on a comment I replied with. Depends on the person. I've had stalkers follow me home. Creeps who tried to get violent with me at work. People who pissed me off. I've also met some really wonderful people I'm fine with calling my friends. I just had a baby and invited two ex-customers to my baby shower in June. Edit. Holy cow. This is my highest rated comment ever. Thanks for all of the well wishes and replies. Everyone. You all brightened up my afternoon. I hope they like what I'm doing and that they spend a lot of money on me and we have a good time. About as much as I've thought about the people I interact with in any other service job. Sometimes guys seem lonely or delusional and that can be hard to deal with but otherwise as long as you aren't smelly. Prejudiced. Pushy or wearing sweatpants you're good with me. I've dated like 4 strippers. Some for a few years. I think their opinions were mostly that the dudes were chill. There were that he tried to shove his finger in my PSSY so I broke it nights. That he got a champagne room for 3 hours with 3 girls and fell asleep so we got drunk type nights. Indian dudes seemed to do the weirdest shti. A couple dudes just got naked in the lap dance booth or champagne room and got kicked out. One my girlfriend said she left for less than a minute to check in with the bouncer and returned and the dude was naked and had nicely folded his clothes next to him. Weirdly sweet but horrifying. They threw him out naked. The thing I noticed though is that after a few years most of them really started to low-key hate men. It's just generally they get exposed to men continually at their worst or most horny. I think it ended up being toxic. My girlfriend used to be a stripper. From what she's told me as long as you're respectful and polite they aren't thinking much about you at all. More likely to be thinking about what they're gonna have for dinner later. Strippers for bucks parties or strippers in clubs? Strippers at bucks parties don't usually hang around long enough 
20-30 minutes max, so interaction with guys is limited to just during the show. You mainly hear guys in clubs more so want to chat because they are either lonely, like the attention briefly or become regulars and make friends with the girls. What strippers really think is about the money. At every job you go to there is always the same personalities they just look different. You have the arrogant guy, the nice guy, the shy guy, the funny insecure guy, the drug addict, the alcoholic, the drunk touchy guy, the guy who thinks is super good looking and you should want him, the narcissist. It's more so about the different roles the stripper can take on when working for all of the above guys. Counselor. Best friend. Cleaning lady for when he spills his drink. The comedian to make them laugh. Security guard for other girls. The dominatrix because they want to be playfully hurt in some way. The list goes on. The more you spend stripping you more learn about social psychology. I used to have a girlfriend who was a stripper. And sometimes I'd visit her at work and hang out with her and her co-worker buddies when it was slow. One time when we were doing this. Another stripper sat down with us and said. Cool. I just got 10 straight lap dances with Bob. I asked. Which one is Bob? No one said anything. Then one of the girls giggled. My girlfriend said. Um. Jeremy. I. A girl. Went to a strip bar one time with a friend's bachelor party. The only ladies bathroom was back with the girls. I went back there and it was hilarious. They were shti talking all of the customers. And just let me join right in. They were a blast. I had so much fun the rest of the night. Most of the people there are just coming for a good time. You get your occasional creeps who you're giving a lap dance to and they flat out try to shove their hands down your front but it's all fine and dandy. There's always a bodyguard just around the corner. The one thing I love about working at my local strip club is the younger ones who are always so shy and timid. I was giving a lap dance to one boy with the cutest little face and he didn't know he was allowed to touch us. Everywhere besides the coach were and asshole. So when I took his hands and set them on my ass he started freaking out a little bit by stuttering and saying stuff like is this allowed? And I don't know about this. He became a regular after a while of showing up with his friends. And he always smiles at me. I dated a stripper for a while. No we didn't meet at the club. We were 18 and she looked super young. She liked some of her regulars. But she would often get married guys in there and she absolutely hated them. Not that she wouldn't take their money, because she wanted to just have fun and not worry about ruining people's marriages. She also disliked the people that were old enough to be her dad because there were a lot of old creepy people who would proceed to show her pictures of their kids who were around her same age. In general though as long as people tipped well and didn't make things awkward she seemed to really enjoy most of her clients. Also never ask your stripper out. She probably doesn't like you also don't propose to them because that makes it super awkward. They're just people. No one proposes to cute girls out of the blue. There's no way to handle that situation that ends well. As a male. I asked a stripper this same question. She said it's just a job. It's their fantasy and they pay for it. Some of these guys are lonely. Some have wives girlfriends at home who don't give them the attention we give them in a 5 minute lap dance in 5 months. I think it depends. I see all of the guys as potential for money. If you're rude to me or if you sit at the bar and don't tip. Then I think poorly of you. It depends what vibe they are giving off when they watch you. Not personally a stripper. But I had a good friend that was a stripper. And since the club she worked at had a great lunch buffet. Go and visit her often. She would hang out at my table between sets and after a while a lot of the others would as well. A lot of the conversations would turn to their opinions of the men that came in. Yeah. That really turned me off from going to clubs. They basically thought of the guys as stupid cash machines. And would laugh at the ones they would get to pay their rent car payments etc. When they wouldn't do anything. I. E. They would show them some affection and talk to them outside of the club. But wouldn't have any SL interactions. Comma the club had a great buffet. Found Ron Swanson. 
years ago. When I was made my rounds in the clubs. I heard several girls refer to regulars as PLs as in pathetic losers. My ex-girlfriend got out of stripping. On top of working, the shadiness of stripping means that even the place they work they don't technically work for, in a place that was constantly pressuring her to basically be a cheap wh -re. The people that weren't looking for blowjobs generally, in her words, regarded her as a piece of meat. She lied to herself for a while that she was a stripper for the art of being able to dance professionally. But the objectification and a management that constantly harassed her to serve as private room clients tore that illusion away from her. One time at a strip club a dancer sat with me topless and we just talked. I saw her on campus a few days later waiting for a class next to mine. I gave a little smile but she wouldn't make eye contact. I always felt bad about it because it seemed like she just wanted a friend but things made it complicated for her to even talk to someone platonically. She must have felt so isolated and I feel bad because she probably felt like I was just someone else trying to take advantage of her. Like people often seem to do. I'm sure she already had friends. I have met some of the best people ever through stripping. Not every guy that goes into the club is creepy. And some just genuinely need a friend. I enjoy meeting new people and all the different types of conversations I have every night. Close bracket. The rude ones are terrible and the hagglers are even worse. Ex stripper the guys who behaved. Were awesome. And my favorite customers. The guys who came in. And thought that by paying me. I owed them. Were the worst. I had customers who believed that because they paid me for a lap dance it meant they could touch me in the non safe zones or because someone tipped me. I would go to their hotel rooms. Just because I'm a dancer doesn't mean I am a toy. I'm a human being with thoughts, emotions, and my own reasonings for being there. If you treat us well, we will do the same. Treat us like shti and we will tell all of the other girls. And you'll be avoided like the plague. I'll never forget the time my uncle moved to my city and I had won a draw for a limo pickup and a couple free drinks at a local strip club. I'm his niece. But we are only 9 years apart. So I invited him and his military buddies along. One of his buddies was a huge WoW player and said he would only get a lap dance if she played WoW. He asked every girl who came up to him if she played WoW. Drunk and me paid a French girl who barely spoke English to tell him no. Oh, I just started playing. I'm a level 7 warlock gnome. Full stop. She made a $20 and the price of a dance. And we all got to laugh until we cried when he came out of the back room calling us asses and that it only took about 4 minutes to figure out she didn't play. Bonus. He taught me how to be addicted to MMOs in the subsequent months. And had sx with him a couple times as well. Money. What else? 